So we are back at my pub purchase, which I didn't know exactly what I was going to do with. I was either going to turn it into a HMO or into flats. Well, I'm really pleased to say that even though every single hurdle was up against us on this plan and application, we have found a way around. Now, the third plan and application that we submitted for this project was to turn it into three three bedroom flats. This was after a meeting with the planners when they made it really clear that they didn't want amalgamation of commercial and residential. So we were trying to save part of the pub. They told us point blank they didn't want this building as a pub anymore. This is a residential street made up of lots of terrace houses and some new build blocks of apartments. So this was ideal for us because we could get 100% residential, maximizing the space and the end value. However, in Norwich for the last two years, plan and permission has come ground into a halt. It's been brought to its knees by something stupid called nutrient neutrality. This means that no additional new overnight accommodation can be approved without you buying credits. But the credits aren't available in Norwich because they can't seem to get their head out of their ass and to provide a scheme which will allow these credits to become available. So there is literally thousands of new homes waiting in a queue, unable to be approved and our project was no different. Three Flats is sat on the planner portal right now, ready to be approved, but it cannot be approved. So for over a year, we've been twiddling our thumbs, waiting for the planners to get things sorted, and we could be faced with another couple of years before anything happens. So we thought outside of the box, we used our entrepreneurial spirit to try and get around this ridiculous legislation, and we managed to do it. Because the loophole is, is no new overnight accommodation can be approved. But if you've got an existing residential use, you can make it bigger. And that's exactly what we did. This one bedroom flat, which sits above the pub, could be made into one house. So we repeated the plans as the three flats, the walls, the bathrooms, the kitchens are all in exactly the same. We just called one of the bedrooms a study, another bedroom a living room, another bedroom a dining space. And as one six bedroom house, we were able to get this application through as one residential dwelling. But because it wasn't an additional dwelling, because we already had a flat, even though there's effectively six extra bathrooms and up to nine people living in this house, it was able to go through at committee, voted unanimously. I mean, what committee member, Labour, Green or Conservative, is going to actually vote to refuse one of the very few applications that is going to see a new dwelling created? No one. So this was the perfect opportunity, whereas normally we would have had a lot of issues and a lot of public outcry for removing a pub. The committee members were absolutely in favour of approving it. So we used a negative situation to our absolute advantage, which means we can now go and get this building converted without any issues or anyone from Norwich City Council coming after us and we can get it rented. Because guess what? The plan and application is still there. It's still live for the three flats. The second that is approved, that solidifies the works that we've done from a single house to three separate dwellings meaning we can refinance at the higher value and get all of our money out and still collect the rental income.